Hello everyone and welcome to a 19th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. As I probably told you like 10 times in the last tutorial, today's tutorial is going to be a bit more in address operators and about something called uh, pointers. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Now you create a new int variable again, and now you remember this um, multiplier modifier, and you're just going to call it a value again, and set it equal to um, actually create a uh, int variable right here. Call it a value. Now call this down here b value and set it equal to address operator a value so what we're actually doing here is we create a normal int variable and then we create a pointer and you define uh, this int as a pointer by putting the star after int and before the name then you declare it as a pointer so we create a new uh, pointer with the data type int called b value and we set it equal to the address of a value so if you try and say C out B value down, down here, it'll print out the value of B value, which is the address of A value. And um, when you're declaring it as a pointer, you don't have you don't have to put this or this in front of just the name because we already told it that it's a pointer and its value is an address operator. So yeah, there's no need to do that. Plus, you get errors if you try to. So uh, now just hit F9, save this as um, pointer underscore address. And now as you see it says 0x44310 and that is the exact output that we got last time because we create a pointer and we call B value and this pointer is pointing at the address of a value but we can also compare addresses to each other so um, create a new int variable right here call it a c value and now create a um, a new int down here a pointer call it d value and set it equal to the address of C value and now we can try to say if D value is equal to the address of C value then print out the addresses are similar. Now try and hit F9 again to compile and run it. And now as you see it first of all it prints out the value of the B value and now they say the addresses are similar. And now, do you have any idea why it says that? That's because um, that first of all, we got a um, int variable right here called c value, and then we got a, a pointer called d value, and that is equal to the address of c value. And now we say that if d value is equal to the address of c value, which we actually assign it to here, it will say the addresses are similar. If not, and line the addresses are not similar. 
And how can they not be similar? Oh yeah, ask me. They cannot be similar if you try and um, actually just erase this C off statement right here. We don't need it, or do we? Mm, let's see. Uh, just keep it. Might uh, get use of it later in this tutorial. We can assign a new value to it by saying D value is now equal to um, the address of um, A value. Now try and hit F9. The addresses are not similar. And that's because the first of all, we assign the pointer uh, value of D value to the address of C value. And then just before it checks for if D value has the same address as C value, we change uh, the value of D value to the address of A value. And therefore, this statement is not true, but this one will be. And that's why it prints out the addresses are not similar. Also, you might think like, okay, but uh, why do I have to um, to put this multiply modifier in front of this? Well, we can see what happens if you don't now. So we uh, just erase these statements right here. Also, we can just erase D value and C value. Now, if you try and remove the uh, multiply modifier or the star in front of B value and hit F9 now you get an error because you are trying to convert a pointer to a normal in variable and you know it got to be declared as a pointer because you know we say that this variable is pointing to an address that's why it's called a pointer so um, yeah that's your tutorial on uh, pointers and uh, addresses so uh, yeah I'll just see you in my next tutorial, and I don't know what it will be about. And um, yeah, I have one more thing to tell you. If you're interested in Blender tutorials, then check my tutorials, because I just made five Blender tutorials and uploaded them to YouTube, and they're really good. Or is that just basic advertising? I don't know. I'll see you.